Hi, I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you how I install these pennant lights in 15 minutes on Data Yourself. Hey everyone, so here's today's project. I'm going to take these lights that are provided by my customer and install them up there. Supposedly, this discussion covers that big opening up there. So let's take a look and see what's in these boxes. All right. So this is a pennant light. And there's the pendant. And there is the adapter. Look at that. Looks like it screws right into the existing fixture. Okay, screw it in, and then hooks over that. Okay. Instructions. Cover some sort. Okay. Okay, so it's just kind of like a clear so a clear shade on that. Well, let's put that back in the box so it doesn't get damaged. All right, so this discussion is actually bigger than the bezel of the can light. So really all I need to do is pull those light bulbs out and then screw this fixture up into the light fixture. And then you loosen this little nut right here. Let's see if you can get a good view of that, see it? And by loosening that, you can pull the cord through and set the height of your light. This is pretty high. This is about six or seven feet up. So I'm thinking it's going to be full extension for this. So let's get these light bulbs pulled out and put these in. So here they are installed, and these cables are about four feet long. Uh, a little low for me. I think probably the fixture should be right about where that discussion is compared to the other two, which is about three feet up from the counter. Actually, about four feet up from the counter, I'm sorry. So what you do is you actually just take the cord and you wrap it around that little handle thing right there, and that takes up the slack. So I'll go ahead and do that now.
right, so I have those up there and they are pretty close to being even. I think that one's a little high right there. Um, it's hard to tell because the cords are, some are straight, some are not. Uh, once I get the shades on them, that's gonna add a little weight. Um, that was kind of a pain because you have to coil that up inside there and then get just enough slack so that you pull tight on it, that gets pushed up against the ceiling. So, all right, let's put the shades on these and see what happens. So I was never able to figure out how to use these spacers. When I put them up on the top, there was not enough thread left to put the glass shade on. Even if I flipped them over both ways, it didn't work. So there's a small white spacer that came installed. These were not installed, and that seemed to work just right and leave me just, just enough thread on there. So let's put some bulbs in these things. This was an easy homeowner friendly project. Really only took me about 15 or 20 minutes. A Couple of hiccups here and there as I got familiar with the product. Speaking of the product, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can pick these up on Amazon. They're really great for putting over existing can lights. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.